Hey guys, this is the Jackdom Reaper here. Today I'm going to be using the big short movie model to explain about the 2008 recession. It's one of the worst economic crises that happened to this whole world. Okay, so what's the big short movie model? I'm going to be using the movie The Big Shot by Adam McKay to explain the things that led to the shitstorm. The whole shitstorm began with a naturally good idea from Louis Renieri. The mortgage backed security, or Basically, Louis Renieri is a former bond trader and former vice chairman of Solomon Brothers, which is an investment bank, who is credited with popularizing the concept of securitization to the financial world. Securitization is a procedure whereby which, where an issuer designs a, a financial vehicle or instrument by merging or pooling various financial assets, i.e. the mortgages into one group, and then the issuer then sells this group of repackaged assets to the investors. Now, this is actually a good idea because in 1977, savings and loans banks were all filling the financial difficulties involved with funding short-term, higher-interest demand deposits with longer-term, low-interest mortgages. As a result, banks did not want to hold too many mortgages, and this limited mortgage issuance suppressed the housing market. So, Louis Renieri came up with a novel solution, an innovative solution, where he created 5 and 10 euro bonds from 30 year mortgages. These new mortgage backed securities helped Renieri attract a large crowd of investors, taking mortgages the, off the bank's books and allowing them to issue fresh mortgages as the existing ones were sliced up and sold off. Renieri's securitization revolution allowed all sorts of cash flows from debt to be pulled and rolled into bonds. So, basically, what he's doing is the mortgage, when people pay their mortgage, the the value of the mortgage backed securities increase that is the mbs value increase so investors invest in these mbss taking it off the bank's books so banks don't have to deal with so many mortgages so they can easily issue fresh mortgages okay okay you may be like i'm just mouthing off words from investopedia and other wikipedia and other websites okay okay i use the website but long story short the bonds, therefore, were based on debt and the mortgages on their foundation. Debt mortgages, those are the foundation of MBSs. They work because the mortgages at first had good ratings and... Well, the mortgages. Who the hell doesn't pay their mortgage? Lewis basically developed a way to help the housing market expand with all the foundation upon... dependent upon mortgages and debt. But some of those goddamn bankers got greedy, so they took more risk. Instead of going with safe mortgages, they went with subprime mortgages, which were more riskier. As Margaret Robbie said, So whenever you hear subprime, think shit. And the MBS transformed into the CDOs, which is the collateralized debt obligation, which consisted of thousands and thousands of mortgages which were unchecked. And all of them had a lot of delinquencies, that is, failing to pay the mortgages on time. CDOs make it possible to recycle risky debt into AAA rated bonds that are safe for retirement, investing, and for meeting reserve capital requirements. So basically, shit got transformed into gold. Okay, simple explanation here. First, there's a rating system for the bonds. It's filled with very good mortgages. Then you get a rating of AAA. AA for good, A for okay. Then the subprime horrible shitty ones. B for bad, double B for horrible, triple B for the shit you find in sewage. Let's say you have a basket, a big basket of mortgages that are basically these mortgages are vegetables, thousands and thousands of vegetables. In that hundreds and hundreds of them are rotten and became freaking shit. Shit that you can't sell under a high rating just like that. So what do you do? You take that big fat pile of shit and wrap it under colorful opaque bags and sell them under the name of crop fertilizer. Crop fertilizer or CDOs. And these CDOs were so obscure, unregulated and unchecked. Good job, now you can sell the shit. But, 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 but. People got even more greedy. They wanted more returns. Even more returns. Let's say your business is very big. You just don't have a farm. You have zoos and wildlife parks. Let's say all your zoos and wildlife parks, you all have a lot of shit to dispose of. Horse shit, elephant shit, dog shit, monkey shit, goat shit, cow shit, rabbit shit, and even cockroach beetle shit. The horse shit is the B-rated bonds and the cockroach beetle shit is the triple B-rated bonds. 
But if we give that sort of B rating to basically all those mortgages, all the mortgages, because millions and millions of mortgages are delinquencies, these banks and trading agencies can't make a profit, right? So, the ratings are manipulated. Okay, you manipulated the ratings. But if you sell them as such, people don't buy them because they can find it over a period of time, right? Because you can read the mortgages and find out about the shits that are inside. But... To avoid this issue, they took so much of that shit and loaded them as barrels and barrels of attached sealed shit. Shit you don't want to read because there's huge volumes of mortgages packed inside the CDOs. And all those freaking barrels got a number of different names. CDO squared, CDO cubes, synthetic CDOs and so on. Squared shit, cube shit, artificial shit and all by getting to the name of organic manure. It sells better, it's more profitable, and many people went so much nuts that they bought that much of shit and didn't even open to see what the barrels contained inside because it made so much of money, which was all freaking based on debt. CD squared were composed of middle tranches of multiple regular CDOs which have been consolidated to create more risk free investments for banks, hedge funders, hedge funds, and other large investors looking for making money. CDO cube basically consisted of the middle tranches of these investments. Tranches, what the hell are they? Tranches basically represent the risk level of the investments. But the problem, they got miscategorized by the credit rating agencies. If they are given a higher rating than it deserved, it can cause investors to be exposed to more riskier assets than they are intended to be. Such mislabeling led to the mortgage meltdown of 2007 and the financial crisis. Tranches consisted of junk bonds or subprime shit mortgages, below investment grade, assets were all labeled triple A or the equivalent, equivalent of the US Treasury bond rating, either through incompetence, carelessness, or outright corruption on the agency's part. Okay, now the shit selling business was thriving. But all good things end, don't they? Until the year of 2007's bankruptcy will. All went good, but the bill got passed in 2007. This bill reformed the practice of personal bankruptcy with an eye towards limiting abuse of the system. This bill also increased the cost of personal bankruptcy and left the insolvent homeowners without recourse when they found themselves unable to pay their mortgages. That means that the guys who gave them the damn mortgages, the banks and the salesmen, could not be held responsible, so the people were unable to pay the damn mortgages. And all of this finalized into a freaking shitstorm when millions and millions of homeowners defaulted on their mortgages, leading to the whole freaking system collapsing. As millions of homeowners defaulted, CDOs failed to reach their middle and upper branches. CDO squared and CDO cubed investors lost a lot of money, lost a lot of money on so called riskless investments. The American economy collapsed, the world economy was affected, trillions of dollars were lost, millions unemployed, millions homeless. All because of a few, a few people who got greedy and did not know how to satisfy the greed in the right way. The average people pay the price for it. The average people pay the price for it. The guys who are responsible, none of them got affected boys and girls. AIG International got bailed out by the Federal Reserve for nearly $180 billion. Lehman Brothers, the company that had over $400 billion in credit default swaps with AIG and over $6 trillion credit swaps, credit default swaps with the world's largest banks, went bankrupt. That's all. They didn't get affected. Lehman Brothers went bankrupt and this guy AIG International got bailed out by the Federal Reserve for nearly $180 billion, man. So it's possible, is it possible that this shit is going to repeat and culminate into the next freaking recession? You know why? You know how? Because now they're selling piss. Shit got outdated. That piss is bespoke tranche opportunity or BTOs, which are basically collateralized debt obligations that a dealer creates for a specific group of investors and tailors them to their needs.
Hope you like this long video. If you stay with me till the end of the video, why not stay a little more by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell along with the like button if you want to subscribe to me and support me. Okay. Hope you like the video. Jagan Reaper out.